going to dip in a little bit. There's little minnows or little fish in there. You can kind of see them. So you got their own little thing right here. Kind of connects to the beach a little bit there, the lake. So the tide does change a little bit. You can kind of see where the water goes in different times of the day. The water can get as high as up there. And every year changes as well. Sometimes there's no beach at all. A few years ago, the water was all the way up to uh, the stairs right there. So uh, there wasn't a beach. You couldn't even really walk down here and enjoy it. But for the last few years, it's been really nice. The water's pretty clear. Right now, it's the perfect time of year. It's kind of funny here because it takes all year just for the water to warm up. So it's September now, and that's probably around the warmest the water will be. Uh, and it kind of takes all year, all summer for it to warm up. Like the first time, sometimes you come out here, the first sunny day would be maybe May or even April. April's really early to swim out here, but some people do it if it gets warm enough. Even in April, May, it's really crazy weather. It can get up to like, you know, not a lot, but sometimes 80s in those months, but usually not. But, you know, if you swim during those times, the water is freezing. But right now, the water is probably at the warmest. So it's the best time to swim when you get warm days like this. But it's cool seeing those little fish in here. They kind of get trapped in here because uh, out there kind of connects to the water more. But look, you can see a lot of them. They're swimming back and forth. My shadow's in the way. Look at those guys. So there's a little pool there. It's actually, you know, semi-deep. It's like to my knees almost. And then going this way, you can kind of see it moving. There's a bunch of little tadpoles or uh, fish in here. I'm not sure what kind those are, but they're tiny. And now it kind of all connects over here. That water's really warm here. I think because it's kind of getting just uh, a whole bunch of sun right here. You can see the seagulls. So this is warm. Let's see how the lake water actually is. So far it's about the same. Wow, it's actually not bad at all. pretty warm. Perfect day. What do you think, Pistol? All to ourselves. This is pretty nice down here. Hey, Pistol, you got the life, huh? When it starts to get warm, or when it starts to get cold later on, probably next month or in like October or November, Pisty will go down to Florida. Look at Pisty. <laughs> the life of a dog. It's nice there because uh, the water is very cold. You can just sit in there and relax without the waves hitting them. He's loving it right there. <laughs> what a perfect day. I would not change these summers for anywhere in the world. We're pretty lucky to have a beach like this really close. The sand is super soft at the end here. My foot just sinks right in. Wow, look at that. I'm all the way in the sand, almost to my knee. And it drops down a little bit. There's a log in the water that's pretty water log. Pretty heavy. 
those make a pretty cool art piece. That's really cool. Here's what kind of ends. There was a few more little pools. Keeps going. That one's kind of neat. There's a whole area there that's not even being touched by the waves. We'll go take a walk up there. Got to be careful with my chair. It's really close to the water. All right now, it looks safe, but uh, I'm not sure exactly when the tide comes in. When the tide does come in, it goes all the way up to there. So if I left that there, like overnight, it wouldn't be there in the morning. There's one little pool. Walk out here. It's cool how it divides. You can go back in. There's some sailboats. It's like a mini hot tub. This water is super warm. That's so cool. I think after I turn this off, I might just lay in here. This reminds me in Georgia, there's this like a uh, state park we went to. It's like Canyon Park, I forget what the name of it was, but there was uh, little creeks like this, just like this. It was more shallow, but it, the water wasn't moving very fast, but it kind of kept you cool a little bit maybe when you walked through them. It's like lukewarm. It's not cold and it's not hot. It's like you can't even tell the difference between the air and the water. It's actually warmer than the air. It's actually a pretty warm day. That's cool, it goes all the way down. There's a few houses along the way. That one's got a pretty nice view. It widens out here. All right guys, so this is my first day of uh, dog sitting. I'm here for a few days. And then right after this, I'm going to my sister's um, in a few days after I get home. And then after that, I'll be going to the Philippines. So this is pretty much it of being here back home. Look, Chrissy's making it back. He's going through the little stream. So hopefully you guys are doing well. I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of the day here. It's the evening now. It's funny, uh, this time of year, the the summer, you know, the first day of summer is like the longest day of the year. And uh, the nights, you actually can be light out by like 9, 9.30. Now the days are getting shorter and shorter and shorter. And finally, when fall hits, uh, we lose an hour. So it'll be darker even sooner. I remember when I, when I used to be here for the winter, I'd get off work and it'd be dark. By the time I got off work, and that'd be like, you know, five o'clock around, driving home, and it started to get dark already. So that was kind of depressing. That's one of the reasons why I like to leave during the winter time. Because, you know, you start work when it just starts to get light outside, and then you leave work when it's getting dark. So you have like no time, there's like no day you're spending your free time when it's light outside. You're pretty much all day at work, and then by the time you get off, it's already dark. And it's just cold, so that's just one of the reasons why I do like to leave for the winter. Alright guys, this is it. I think I'll say goodbye. I'm not sure if I'll video to you tomorrow. It's kind of the same thing, just hanging out with Misty. Uh, today we're taking advantage of no one being on the beach. So hopefully you guys are doing well. And we'll see you guys next time. Here's Pistol's favorite part of the hike.